What's up, my fellow eggs? Today we're watching Hotel Transylvania 4. And if you want us to watch other Sony Pictures movies, comment them down below and get this video to 10,000 likes. And if you guys want to see the full commentary, head over to patreon.com slash spilling the milk. Bobby! Bobby! The two of us. That's such a bad impression. Yeah, the problem is he's actually a little bit too good at singing to be an authentic Adam Sandler impression. You're not Adam Sandler. You can't be Adam. I'm sorry. You can't f***ing be him. We are together, you and I. This looks like a Hotel Transylvania TV show. Well, the Hotel Transylvania TV show probably looks not as good as this. It's cute ology, bro. The three of us. Is that Andy Samberg? I think Andy Samberg does reprise his role. Everyone came back except for Adam Sandler. Maybe he was busy on like a cruise or something, shooting his next movie. He was filming Jack and Jill too. Sit back and enjoy your anniversary party. Where's the wife? Didn't he get a baddie in the last movie? He got a bad ting. That one white woman? Oh yeah, where'd she go? Johnny, take over celebration! Hit it! Is this gonna be the Trolls version of Hotel Transylvania where they change a new song every 10 seconds? We can agree this is more ADHD than the first three movies already, right? So is this movie just gonna be Dracula like he's just really concerned about being old? I'm pretty sure he turns into a human like Shrek in this movie. <gasps> Blobby, Blobby's gonna vibrate. Really? You sure you wouldn't make just a few teensy changes? You like Johnny. You guys are friends now. This is character regression, bro. It's not character regression. It's that, it's that he's self-conscious right now because he lost his wife off screen in between movies. She's literally right next to him. She's so white, she blends in with the tablecloth. I will make a special once in a lifetime announcement. Everybody gets $5 off at Hooters. That's not that much. It's like half of a fry. You retire. You retire. You retire. Oh my God, he's gonna retire just like this franchise is retiring. And retire is an analogy for death because Dracula dies in this movie. I really hope he fucking dies, Jesus. Dad is gonna retire and leave us the hotel. Thumbnail, thumbnail. She looks so beautiful. Thank you for perfectly centering the characters with strong expressions. To give the key to the hotel to... <laughs> Johnny is like, his character is just wrong in this, I feel like. He's way too energetic. Well, maybe he was trying to like, you know, get off. He was trying to get off. Uh, I mean, Mavis is right there, bro. Ever be transferred to old by or inherited to a human. This is such like a direct-to-TV movie. Like the plot of it is so nothing. Like he doesn't want to like communicate. Like in the previous ones, it's like, oh, will my child be a vampire? Am I gonna find love? And this one is, am I gonna let them inherit the hotel? Yes! We are expanding the hotel! What? Say what? No freaking way! They're inflating the hotel? But that should be what it is. He expands Hotel Transylvania as a chain. He turns it into fucking uh, Marriott. Marriott for monsters, bro. Take it away, Blobby! How in God's name do you fucking put a dance scene in this scene? This makes absolutely no sense. Clap your hands, Eden. Blobby's gonna play the cha-cha slide. There wasn't anything else you were gonna announce. Like what? It's crazy that like Selena Gomez returns for this, but she's not like returning for like, I think she's only in like one episode of the new reboot of Wizards of Waverly Place. I feel like this is on the same level. Why in God's name would she still want to be tied to like Wizards of Waverly Place? Like, isn't the whole point of finally making it out of child acting is like to finally distance yourself from that? I don't know, man. So, you want to become a monster, huh? Van Helsing? This guy still needs to be in the movie? Why is this guy not dead? This guy literally is canonically he is fucking Hitler for monsters like canonically has killed hundreds of monsters and everybody's just chill with him now the monster vacation ray it turns any human into a monster he's just like so chill of a character that I honestly I can't even really see him caring that much whether or not he inherits the hotel like that doesn't even seem like something that he would matter that much to him so long as he has his family to chill with I think it kind of makes sense because he was always kind of like wanting Drax approval like that's kind of like part of his character but that was mostly in the first movie I don't feel so good no 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 what did we just see the same thing on screen right now big dumper bro this is someone's fish did you change your name to someone core cuz I've seen your search history
Oh my god, put it away. What's this fucking Pete the Dragon looking ass? He looks like the cover of a book in a Scholastic Book Fair. It's the book that nobody buys, bro. Let's be honest. Gotcha. This is fucking nonsense, bro. Oh my god, he poisoned the water supply. Wait, you think Drac is gonna turn himself into a human? And they're gonna have roles reversed and then that's gonna be the whole movie? Just some random monster. Everything is normal. Brainwashing children, bro. Oh my god. That's this movie. This movie is good. You will laugh because you are children. You will subscribe to Amazon Prime Video, the greatest streaming service. Oh no. And of course, it's gonna break, and then he's gonna be stuck as a human. And then it's gonna be like, oh no, whoopsie daisy. Oh, his hair's falling out. No, no! Well, he's 125 years old. Will he not just turn into a pile of dust? Actually, true. Oh my god, it's me. No way. It would be crazy if he just had a normal American voice when he turned human. The accent just comes with being a vampire, it's inherent. Come on. Come on, why isn't this working? How many binges do we have where we like just low key like every single movie less and less until it ends? I feel like that's so many of the binges. I think that just shows like a process of like films. Cause if you make too many sequels of the same thing, you kind of just get tired of the same ideas. Well, it's broken. The crystal's cracked and it's beyond repair. This one's bad, dude. What does this movie remind us of? Like, what can we compare it to? Working a fast food job. Because it feels like a fanfic. Kind of like Shrek 4. But Shrek 4 at least has Mike Myers in it and Eddie Murphy. This one doesn't even have Kevin James and Adam Sandler, bro. There it is! South America! They're going to Brazil in this movie. What the hell? What? They actually came to Brazil? That's crazy. But they're going to get stuck in the airport. That would be crazy if they just copied the Smiling Friends. Yeah! You know, just the two of us. No, my God, it's just like the song. Just the two of us. I'll give, I'll get it smart. That was a banger line. Someone was cooking in the writing room. Hey, here's the blobby. We're gonna see him. We're gonna see the Invisible Man. I saw this in the trailer for this movie. Well, I didn't, dude. This is a very important moment for me right now. Okay. My stitches. Oh, what? Oh my god, that is really funny looking, I'm not gonna lie. This is a very entertaining sequence, I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of extended transformation sequences in this movie. Oh my god, ass. Wait, why is he so ugly? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, do not let Bob from Monsters vs. Aliens see that guy, bro. Cause it'll be all up in that jello, bro. Wait, it connects. He was dating Blobby the whole time. Oh my god, the crossover. Okay, yep. Something's definitely going on. Something's going on. There's too much like fucking dumb ass dumb dialogue. There's like, yep, something's happening right now. Did, did that just happen? Whoa, so cool. They put the Mexico filter on for Brazil. It's checking all the boxes of modern media, you know what I mean? Oh my God, do we really need this? No, we don't need this. We don't need anything. We could stop watching right now. All right, bye. Frank, what did you do? And who are those guys? They just gave Selena Gomez like the worst dialogue. I, Cause everything she says is like, what is happening? What is going on here? There's just so many lines of dialogue where it's just a character stating or asking about what is going on currently. Oh yeah. Yeah, your dad's a human now and Johnny's a monster. I was not supposed to say that out loud. I was not supposed to say that dialogue out loud. Oh no, why did I say that? Shut the fuck up. Where am I going to find a shower in the middle of the jungle? And where am I gonna find a shower in the middle of the jungle? The writers were like, bro, and then we'll cue rain. That's kind of like a shower because it's wet and it's water. Everybody's favorite thing is when character says, surely this won't happen. And then thing happens. It happens. And that's comical. <laughs> Surely I'm not allergic to these flowers. Surely spilling the milk won't regret watching this movie. You just need a Benadryl, Drac. <laughs> how the fuck are you gonna play Angry Birds now? Dude, how does Sony let that through? Because Sony definitely has waterproof phones, but they made the glitching sound when it went into the water. So like, how is there not a Sony executive was like, you can't put that scene in the movie. Our phones are waterproof. You're sending a bad message about Sony products. Maybe it'll come back. <laughs> Turns out the rain's highly unstable. 
Shut up, Jim Gaffigan. Literally die. Yeah, why don't you talk about how fat you are? That would be funnier than this. He's not fat. He's fluffy. Wrong guy. Wrong guy, bro. Miko, you're not fat. You're fluffy. This movie's unpleasant. Like, I don't want to think about this. I hate mosquitoes. I don't want to, like, be experiencing this secondhand. This is hell on earth. Ow! Wesley, what did I just... Huh? Oops. <laughs> Oops, my bad. Oops. Ah! This is the old me. Your dad helped me leave that all behind. When I used to kill people like you. But now I'm not racist anymore. So I'm cool. Like, what the fu- This is such a weird character. This is like like a KKK member starts dating a black girl and like pulls up in like his uniform. Like, what is that? That might be the most insane sentence uttered on this channel. How are we gonna find them in there? I think I have an idea. How do you think you have an idea? You have an idea. An idea is a thought that you think in your head. I think I have an idea. This kind of goes hard. This low-key kind of goes hard. Shut up. Here's the thing about this movie is that women are badass and powerful, okay? They're showing girls that women can be strong. They can be powerful. They can hurt the environment. It's amazing. My head. What? What's going on? I'm going to say something controversial here. Sony Pictures had the opportunity to make a sequel to the Emoji movie, but they decided to make three sequels to Hotel Transylvania instead. That is kind of fucked up. Because Emoji movie made a lot of money, right? It was like the biggest movie ever. 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 <laughs> Johnny! How to train your stoner. So th this is like Luffy and Momonosuke versus Kai. You fucking die. I actually stop saying that shit. <laughs> Wait, those are the ducks from Migration. Did you see that? Oh my God, it's all one universe. They got Hotel Transylvania, Shrek. And immigration. <laughs> if you only see the worst in things, You'll miss the best part. Oh my goodness, this is the part of the movie where after all the struggles, they sit around a fire and then they finally reconcile a bit and become friends. Oh my God. And crack open the bird stuff, you'll find something sweet and gooey inside. But then later he's gonna find out Drac lied and he's gonna be pissed and angry and run away. And then Drac's gonna be alone. Did he seriously just give him a marshmallow version of the onion speech? Marshmallows do taste better than onions, so. Johnny! Mavis? Ooh. It's you! Oh my God, she doesn't care what he looks like because she, oh my God, she's moving them goddamn hips there for a second. Oh my Lord. She has the biggest I've ever seen in my life. No, she does not. She's got, she's got, what are you talking about? Wait, there's no monster real estate law? Wait, is this a liar revealed moment? That would have been the best moment for, wait, this Sony phone is still working. Wait, I just fished it out of the water. It actually is still working this whole time. You just didn't want to give me the hotel. No. I mean, yes, but you hate me. Wait, he's getting pissed and angry because the liar was revealed. Wait, wait, Johnny. I know this is generic, but let's continue the movie. Something is happening to you. Johnny, out. I feel like they skipped an act of the movie. They went from slight reconciliation to like low acts, like instantly. This is terrible. Johnny's going to keep transforming until he becomes a mindless beast. I think one of the things that we were complimenting about the last movie is how many characters there are and like how they're still well balanced, even though there's so many. But then this time there's less characters. You know what I mean? It's strange. And the balance is worse. And all the characters suck. My dad never should have lied to you. Oh my god, this is so baby. Like, people think the end of Steven Universe future, like when he turns into the monster there, is how I feel about, like, this moment in the movie, you know? Like, that's how people feel about that part of the show. This is a Universal theme park ride. This is a Universal... Th this is where we are on the Universal 4D Hotel Transylvania 4D ride right now. We found it. Why is the mysterious hidden gem always in Latin America? Why can't it just be in like Arkansas or some shit? Like I swear to God, every movie ever always has it. Cause no one wants to go to Arkansas. Like if you're like, oh, there's a secret quest to go to South America. Like that's cool. This just looks like the fucking Fortress of Solitude. Dracula, liar, Johnny. This is like baby's first movie. Like what the fuck is this? If this was my first movie as a baby, I'd just give up watching movies. <laughs> 
save. Oh, that's great news. Okay, I'm sending you the location now. I need to read this incoming message from Cheddar's 1247. This movie was like a 7 out of 10. I'm curious what Cheddar's thinks a 10 out of 10 movie is. I'm curious what they think a 6 out of 10 movie is. If this is their 7. <gasps> Sorry, I didn't quite get that. There's a lot of moments in this movie where like, where it's like the joke is like phone stupid, you know what I mean? Like, or phone like defective, but there's Sony phones in a Sony movie. Like Sony is making their own phones look like doo-doo water right now. Like what's up with that? That thing looks waterproof. I'm not, I'm not lying when I say that thing looks incredibly waterproof. Crystal? We can't even find each other. It's Coco in here. Dude, he looks like he owns the best pizza shop in town. Am I wrong? Like he's he's tossing the best pizzas and he's giving you attitude about it too. Oh. Huh? Dude, it's literally a magma geode from Stardew Valley. Oh my god, dude, it's literally um that thing from that one video game franchise series reference that I like. Just take the shot, bro. You only, only got to shoot it once. The longer you wait, the harder this gets for everyone involved. Hey, kiddo. Literally the only good thing he has done in this entire movie. Now they realize, wait, every other character in this movie has done absolutely nothing. So they found one scene that makes everybody useful. It's like the last episode of Gravity Falls. Okay, Johnny, please still be in there. This is like Angry Birds. Ah! That's an insult to Angry Birds. Dead! <gasps> Video game reference. This is like uh, Shadow of the Colossus. Johnny, you are the marshmallow! Ah! Ah! He's a marshmallow. I was so worried that you would ruin everything I cared about. I didn't see. Wait, I realize this movie is the marshmallow because it's cheap and lacking any nutritional value. And, and you have to kill animals to make it. <laughs> Drac? Johnny? Drac? This is a baby movie. Like, we watch a lot of baby cartoons, but, like, I, I feel like a lot of, like, kids' things, like, respect your intelligence. This movie is, like, like detracts your intelligence. It's almost as bad as the Mega Mind cartoon. Almost. Oh my god, no way. Cliffhanger, please be a cliffhanger. I really wanted it to be a cliffhanger. Wait, they turned the hamster into a human? Isn't it a human ray? My old dad. This is kind of a has-been hotel. Like, it used to be a hotel, but now it's it's been there, done that, you know? Oh my god, Blobby is Jesus theory. It's your hotel now. This is actually crazy. They come back, the hotel is in ruins. It's completely destroyed. He's like, I've got the greatest present for you. <gasps> Grand reopening. Well, wow, it's the same. We just made a couple of tiny adjustments. Huh? Wait, did they make this for the show? The show came out before this, so no. Nope. Oh, so no. Okay, it's just 2D randomly at the end. Wait, what? Do we have to watch this? No, right? No, we're done. No, we're done. We're done. Bye. Bye. Aromare, Alex McLean. Alzheimer's is a bad disease. We should cure it. Andrew Husky, Arachnidroid, Aaron Tates, and Atomic Leon Bento, Blake Rivera, Kane Rivers, Tom Luke, Cosmic Dega, Crystal Bunny, Frozen Spaghetti, Gabriel Grenados, Gub Stargazer, Gurney Snile Yernison, Happy and Egg, Helio, Histrionics Ribbler, Honor Pearson, Hummus, Hydropon, Isaiah Alfred, K99, Kamui, King of the Street, Lilac Moon, Loka Pegged, Brett Hand, Michael Rodriguez, Milan Zekanovic, Merck, Native, Omega Waffles, Oscar Annis, Pablo the God, Patrick Case Randolph, Pizza Loving Panda, R. Dizel, Rocky Road with Sprinkles, Rathoka, Quinn Christian, Sam, Skyler is Milk's Mom. Here in Sills, Tyler Russell, Valix Explicit, Victoria.